welcome. This is Master Prophet Noel teaching you Trust Your Vibe, The Laws of Vibration, Volume 1 and 2 CD Set. In this course, you will learn the hidden secrets of the laws of vibrations and its effects in your everyday life. We will continue with Trust Your Vibe, The Laws of Vibrations, Volume 1 and 2 CD Set. We'll be right back with today's teaching. Now, the laws of vibration is an important topic that experts study closely to create products and services that will increase the quality of life. Many of the growing cities are building massively large walls, dividing the highways and the residential streets to lower the vibrational interference of noise that cars and trucks make while in motion. The United States government is providing major grants to the scientific community to create more sensitive equipment that can accurately read the vibrations of earthquakes in advance to decrease the levels of American casualties. The laws of vibration is a recognized concept that the scientific community has embraced to influence the way automobiles are made, skyscrapers are made, and football stadiums are created to lower the vibrational distractions to communities around it. Now, as a believer, your prophetic accuracy is determined by your inner circle is due to the laws of vibration. Each person that appears in your life can be secretly vibrating confusion, money struggles, fears. These hidden vibrations will affect you in your journey of enlightenment. Listen to the live teaching. Come in while we're teaching this course. And I just taught a concept called vibrational perception where you as a prophet will come in contact with individuals that are vibrating money confusion, that are vibrating lack, that are vibrating relationship struggles, and you as a prophet, if you can read those waves, that will increase your prophetic accuracy. Now, what's your thoughts on that teaching? Yes. And everybody has a presence around them. And whenever you come in contact with a spirit, yes. a presence, you become a partaker of that. And I like it to a person that don't smoke cigarettes. If someone just smoke and you get up the elevator, and you go in the elevator, that smoke is going to be on you. And you go into another place, they're going to think that you're smoking. There you go. And then you have to break you to what you're saying. That's Beautiful. Now, Prophet, you see that vibrations. Now, I want to teach you a law of vibration. Now, this, I want to make it clear that the teachings you will get when you participate in this phone conference, you will not find anywhere else. Do you get what I'm saying, Prophet? Because I want to teach people the higher levels of operating in the gifts of the Spirit. Now, listen to me for a moment, Prophet. Now, listen closely. When a person comes into my presence and they don't speak a word and I begin to get the vibrational perception that they're sending from the ways that they're having, the attitudes they're carrying, the money problems they're struggling, and I speak for, for prophecy before they speak a word, wouldn't you think that would increase my prophetic accuracy? Wouldn't you Wow, that's what I'm trying to talk about. Because you see, uh, Prophet, when I train my mentor and I mentor my students and my prophets worldwide, is to begin to look at the higher levels of prophecy. You see, if you can read an individual by the vibrations they send, they will be amazed of your gift. I cannot tell you, Prophet, how many testimonies I get from people that when I hit the bullseye and I prophesy to them, just because I'm reading the vibrational waves that they're sending into my life, the person becomes amazed, the person enrolls in my school of the prophets, the person goes and buys all my products because of the giftedness of the prophecy that I speak. Amen. Yeah, what, what was that? Also, 
That's right. There you go. This law is very important when choosing lovers, choosing businesses, choosing partners, or choosing the right person to be a part of your inner circle. People that come into your life are vibrating a message that reveals what's in their heart. Vibrational perception will give you the heads up of what people are trying to bring into your life. Then you can choose if you want to stay connected with that individual. Now as a master prophet, I continue to use the laws of vibration, vibrational perception to screen individuals that want to become my students. Before I take the time to mentor a prophet, I want to make sure that the vibrations that are coming from the student is filled with spiritual hunger, respect, and kindness, and openness that they will receive my message. Any student that begins to perceive spiritual laziness, spiritual blocks, or disrespect, I will reject them and send them away. Now listen to a prophecy I gave this caller that reveals secrets about their life using vibrational perception. Listen closely to this prophecy. 2011 is going to be a year of decisions. This is going to be your year where you're going to make a lot of decisions concerning what direction you really should go. This is going to be the year that I want you to center on the careers that you desire, the education that you desire, because God is going to put you into a season where you must plant yourself with making decisions. And let me just show you some areas where God is going to move you. God is going to start to move you for making decisions concerning your career, what direction you need to go. And the word of the prophet will say, contemplate our training schools, uh, uh, furthering your education, because God is going to really move you to really get yourself established in this year. Also, the word of the prophet will say, I want you to make sure that as you begin to spend a lot of time online, I want you to begin to con contemplate some of the ideas that the Lord is putting in your heart to manifest. He's going to put a lot of desires in your heart to really manifest some some in, uh, particular things that are going to start to build wealth in your life. The prophetic. God is going to put an incredible fire for you to learn more about angels and operating at high levels of prophecy. And you must seek it out. And don't let the challenges of lack of money be the trouble for you in your life in 2011. Because I see that in 2010 you struggled with situations because of lack of uh, opportunities or lack of money in your life. And 2011 you must walk by faith and trust in the divine. You have any questions? Yes. So that's so when I spoke that prophecy into your life, John, you didn't give me any information, right? No. But you see, the word says in Amos chapter three, verse eleven, Second Chronicles uh, twenty twenty, that if you believe in this prophecy, you shall prosper. Because you see, the Lord reveals all His secrets. Now, John, I want you to begin to focus on school because this is where God wants to move you. He's trying to establish you that you get a career going. And this is going to be your season and you must walk forward. Now the way you know that that prophecy is correct is because you had that unction inside your spirit and I just spoke out what you had inside your soul. You get what the prophet is saying? And there's, there's no way for me to know this information, but because I know the voice of God and I know the angels that stand around me, I can speak forth these secrets. Now, I want you to begin to really also build your prophetic. You must start to build your prophetic. You must start to build it, the unction, because the fire of the Holy Spirit is going to be really strong. Don't be concerned how God is going to open the door, uh, John, because you struggled with this. You're trying to look for people to open some kind of magic door. The door doesn't become open, uh, John. Let me tell you the secrets of the kingdom of God. You ready for it? The Bible's... What was that? Okay, John, let me teach you a 